guys, welcome to my freezer. Today I wanna to show you guys how I organized it, but before I do, let me show you the before picture because it was a disaster. Okay, so here's the before of my freezer. So I have one of those with the drawers that is on the bottom and it rolls out. This is the bigger of the two drawers because there's another drawer right here. So that's kind of like some frozen fruit, beef stew, random things, and it's just a mess. <laughs> so as you can see here, it was crazy, and honestly, I couldn't find anything really, and I just found myself throwing things on the top and only using the things from the top, so I didn't know what was buried underneath of there, and that wasn't good because I really didn't want to waste. So I finally reorganized it, and it's been like this now for a couple weeks. I really wanted to use it before I showed you guys to make sure that this system worked for me and it does, so let me show you what I did. So this pulls out right like this. And I have a top drawer and then a bottom drawer. Well, I mean, yeah, bottom drawer and then I had this like little ledge thing. So let's start up here and this slides all the way out as you can see. So what I did was I separated all the frozen fruits from the frozen vegetables. And this was kind of like this before. That's why I stuck with this because I knew it worked for us. Um, we freeze our own bananas because we always use these in our protein shakes every morning. That's what we have for breakfast, our protein shakes. And we only put a half a banana in each one. So we freeze our own. And this is actually a whole head of banana. But we have another one in here because sometimes, you know, this is full or we have... You know, this might be halfway full, but I get a head of banana that I need to freeze, so we need the second one. There's an extra bag here, and we always just reuse these bags. We've been using these bags for a while now, actually. So that's what we do there. Then all these are um, our other frozen fruits, and what we, some of these we freeze or froze on our own, but other ones we uh, like to, like if we buy them in the bags, like frozen, pre-frozen in the bags, we will take them out and I'll put them in these quart size freezer bags because these ones close up and I feel like those other ones, they just kind of, you know, you twist them, you try to twist them shut or use a rubber band or something. And I just feel like these are more efficient. So I just immediately dump it out into one of these things. And to me, that's easier. So that's what I do. And then over here, you can just see all of our vegetables. I always keep okra on hand. By the way, this is a full freezer for us. I went to the grocery store and I made sure it was fully stocked, how it typically is for us. And remember, we only have two people and we don't have any kids. So this is what we normally keep on hand. And uh, if I chop onions and have leftovers, I will freeze them. These are leeks, onions, red onions, and then just other vegetables. Now, you might be wondering why I have this empty space here. And there's a method behind my madness I promise <laughs> so basically the reason why we have this is because I like to freeze things and when I do I want a flat surface to freeze them on so if this was all full of food I wouldn't have any flat surface to put the items on to freeze so that's why I kept this clear and I'll do a demonstration for you in a minute but I want to show you what's under here first so I saw this well, I've been seeing this around somewhere. I don't know where I originally saw this, but basically you take an ice cube tray and you can freeze your herbs or your garlic. So I froze a whole bunch of basil and I froze a whole bunch of garlic. And this is equal to one garlic head and each little uh, square is equal to one clove in the bulb or head of garlic. So um, yeah, each little square is a clove and I just put olive oil in there and froze it. And so now if I don't have fresh basil or I don't want my hands to stink from chopping garlic, I can reach in here and use one of these things. And the reason why I got the silicone is because the silicone, um, it's easy to pop these suckers out with the silicone so that you don't have to break it and they all don't pop out, you know. And then I got these, if I like this, which I do, I also got this one and this is penguins. How fun is that? So I can't wait to figure out what herb or what's gonna go in here, but I'm pretty excited about that. And these fit perfectly down under here because this actually, goes in, this dips in, and this sits on top of here. So this can easily go over it without being on top of or squishing that. So I like to keep these here because it just happens to fit there and it clears the space in the middle 
and let me just put this back. And it's clear so I can see it. So I really, I'm really loving that. Okay, so let me show you how I use the center of this. And I actually got this bag of water <laughs> over here to show you. This is just to demonstrate. I did have beef stew to demonstrate, but we ate it. So I'm just using a bag of water to show you how it works. Oh, let me fix this. Okay, that's better. So anyway, so this way, see, I can lay it flat and it freezes. We also have a little cookie sheet we can put on here if we wanna freeze fruits or certain things. But um, this, this, uh, goodness gracious, I'm losing my words. This freezes flat and I will show you why I like it to be frozen flat in a minute. But I'm really happy that I created a space to do that with. Sorry, I'm putting, putting that water back over there. Okay. It's back. So um, the Pioneer Woman inspired me to freeze that way. So I'll show you why. I just think that it, I don't know, it's very, it's a very organized way of freezing. <laughs> okay, so over here in this bottom drawer, of course, this is much deeper as you can see. And this right here is a um, natural divider or it like came, it came with the fridge. It came like this, I really can't move this, but that's okay. Because over here, I decided to put all of our frozen meats. Now let me lift this up and show you this real fast. So what I originally did is I got this. This is another one of those freezer containers and this fits perfectly in this area. And I put all of these ice packs in it. And then this is a natural divider for the rest of this and this is our frozen meats. And honestly, this is about the amount of frozen meats that I keep on hand at any given time. Actually, this is probably a little more than what I typically keep on hand, but because like I said, I just went to the grocery store. I don't like to try to keep a ton of meat on hand because we live in South Florida and we get hurricanes sometimes, and right now it's not hurricane season, but when it comes, I really try to keep my meat low, like the stock of meat I have low, because I don't want a bunch of stuff to go bad if the power goes out. And then right here, um, I, I got these in a package one time. And typically what I do is I freeze water bottles with water and I keep them in the freezer. So this way if we have a hurricane, those water bottles help keep your freezer cool. And then you have water if you need to drink it. But when I got these like little packets, I thought, oh, I don't know if I'll ever use these, but that's good in case the power ever goes out and it needs to keep the fridge cool. So I always wanna keep these in here you know, in case of hurricanes or something like that. Like I said, typically the meat stays in there, but we got this and it really doesn't fit in there. As you can kind of see, it overflows. But that's okay because there's nothing else on top of here and we don't really use, you know, these ice packs. So it's okay if it goes on top. And next time I think what we'll really do is put it probably in a large Ziploc bag instead of keeping it flat. But we're gonna eat this this week, so it really doesn't matter. I guess, why waste a bag? So over here, we have, I don't know if you can see this, but right here, we actually have one of those um, other freezer boxes things, container things. I'll link all these sizes below if I can find them. Um, this one is about double the size of the one where the uh, ice packs are in. And I decided to keep all of our bread and like, hamburger buns and hot dog buns in there because we are only two people. So uh, we don't, you know, go through a whole pack of hamburger buns usually. So we keep them frozen and then just take out what we need. Although it's kind of overflowing right here because when I cleaned out the freezer, right? This is why I clean up your freezer. This is why I organized it. Cause we had two hot dog buns. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So that hopefully won't happen again because now I have it organized. But when when we eat all these, we'll have one hamburger bun, one hot dog bun. And then these are our tortillas that I have. I like, I like these um, corn tortillas for like tacos or chicken tacos. And then we have some gluten-free things because um, we're not particularly gluten-free, but we have family members that are, and my husband just likes it because my husband loves everything. So he'll eat it. So we have bread gluten-free bread and hamburger buns for those who come over who are gluten-free. Over here, well, let me show you this in a second. But back here is all of our dessert stuff, and honestly, this is way more dessert than I ever want to keep on hand. Like I said, I didn't even know I had some of this stuff, so that wasn't good. So I put it back here, and I really want to try to use it up quickly. We just have, you know, uh, this bread here. I have a couple things of puff pastry. I have... Um, 
just these these type of things. You can kind of read and see what we have in there. Uh, we also have pie crust down below. So I, I'm, my wheels are turning and how I can use that at different family events or people that we have over. I do always keep chocolate chips on hand because when these suckers go on sale, the Ghirardelli from Target, I usually buy a few of them. So I froze that one. That one's getting kind of full probably because I keep opening the freezer to do this video. Um, and then here we just have, you know, some gluten free breakable cookies, but really back here what I typically keep on hand as well. So the chocolate chips are typical, that's typical, and the cookie dough is typical. If I bake chocolate chip cookies, I typically have about a half a batch left, and then I will freeze that in here, and then I can just slice and bake later so it saves time and it doesn't waste. So I really love doing that. So that usually always stays, or that I always keep on hand. So this is all the dessert stuff, and then back here in this little box, I wanna keep more like freezer kind of meals and quick foods on hand. So like for instance, this is a bread that we had with our beef stew and we didn't eat it all so we put it back in here. So if I wanna make croutons or we wanna have bread for our next meal or bruschetta, you know, it's right there. Um, I always like to keep frozen rice on hand. Sounds weird, but this is really nice when you're in a bind and you need something quick. You just heat it up and you serve. You don't have to wait like 30 minutes. So it's really nice extra sandwich meat I didn't want to go bad, and in this jar is spaghetti sauce. So what I really want to do though, is let me get my bag of water back out to show you. Okay, we're gonna pretend that this water is frozen, right? And um, it just slides perfectly in this container. And this container actually got on clearance at Target, so if, it's, if I can find it, I'll link it, but I may not be able to. And I really like how this just slides in there. So the goal is I wanna have about, you know, two to three meals right here so I don't have to, boy, I'm really crooked, I'm sorry about that. This will be our takeout. Cause we typically don't do takeout and when we want a quick meal, we'll use the frozen rice or the okra, but I really wanna have like more frozen things on hand. And honestly, I like my food better than the, the like freezer meals at the store at Whole Foods. So I'd rather just, freeze my stuff so we have that for a quick meal and it's healthy and delicious so that's kind of like what i want to do and like i said there was beef stew here but we ate it and this worked for us the system stuff that back in there now the last part of this fridge is on this little ledge thing and this is really neat because this actually fl flips up and you could put a frozen pizza down here so that's really nice we haven't used it yet but we might i freeze some of our nuts sometimes so that they don't go bad or rancid and you can see there's room because sometimes we do have more than just almonds on hand these are some frozen ice packs that we have and then this is our butter typically i do not have this much butter on hand but i really stocked up this past christmas but because of the renovation went longer than what we thought i didn't get a chance to bake and do my Christmas baking. So now we have a bunch of extra butter and I accidentally got some salted kind. So yeah. And then right here, we have just some extra cheeses that I keep for certain meals. So if we have cheese that needs to be frozen, it goes here. So I really don't have anything in particular to separate these, but I don't think I need it. So this is our freezer. This is our full freezer. And I really love how it really meets our needs and I can find everything now and I feel like things don't get lost and they'll get eaten and they won't get wasted. And I really love how I have this space right here to freeze things. So that was my goal is to have that flat space and now I have it and I'm happy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that this video is kind of long. I'm gonna try to put it back where I can and I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.